Now on the New Look Sports Mag Zone on this Feel Good Friday, I stress the term New Look because on Thursday we revealed our groundbreaking state-of-the-art studio from downtown Kingston. For the past 13 years, Sports Max operated from 22 Chalmers Avenue in Kingston and continued to grow and develop into the world-class television statement it is today. Now in this new space, we take in further steps into the future as we seek to evolve with the technological world in which we operate. You might be wondering, just how fancy this shiny new toy is. Well, why don't we just tell you? The transition started um, at least two years before the actual move. Um, it started with meetings amongst the, the, the technical engineering teams and the operational head. Um, to decide exactly what type of studio facility we, we, we wish to build. So the new studio space um, put us in a position to compete um, both locally and globally. Um, we have invested in a lot of new technology um, which is fresh and which is state of, state of the art. Uh, this actual studio space um, is, you know, LED panels, um, remote control lighting, um, remote overhead cameras, a jib, etc. You know, things that one would expect in a studio space in 2023. So we are, at the moment, the most advanced studio facility in the, in the Caribbean, right? But with that said, we are now on par with other studio entities around the world in terms of what we have to offer. I've been here since 2003. And everything that we have done has always been different. Um, producing sporting events on a daily basis or every week or every weekend, you're rolling out to do a, a, a production of an event has always set us different from all the other competition. Um, we've invested in augmented reality, which can be used um, for advertisers, you know, that will help us to do a lot of on-air advertisement. And it's also helped which in terms of our production, our sporting production. How is it that we can use augmented reality, you know, to put up um, live graphics, interactive graphics. We have also created a, a, a very dynamic space where we have multiple sets. Um, so that will put us in a nice position um, to compete both locally and globally in terms of some of these networks. We have facilities similar to what we have where you take in feeds and you then add commentary to it, add graphics to it. Our new facilities now will allow us that kind of, 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 of um, opportunity to, to, to produce events that are not even maybe shot here in Jamaica and it allows us to do more remote production where the event and equipment, limited equipment is taken to the venue and then in our studios we add the commentary, we add the graphics and I think that now will make us you know, a, a step ahead of, of, of any other competition in the region. One of the things that, that Sportsmax has done well um, one of the, the things that, that, that our directors or executive team has always encouraged us to push is Caribbean, inter Caribbean unity, sorry, trying to, to have an integrated um, Caribbean in terms of how we broadcast, what we broadcast, what we put out there to, to, our, to our viewers. You know, so. So some of our technical personalities there just outlining uh, a lot of the thought process that went behind uh, getting where we are now. And uh, we are really, really comfortable here, really thrilled and uh, really um, satisfied that we have been able to make a step that will benefit all of us and uh, the viewers, not the least. And uh, Mariah and Ricardo, I know that we have some tremendous years of television ahead of us here coming from the home of champions. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I tell you guys something. When I came to Sportsmax in 2017, 
um, I was sold a vision and part of the vision is that we would have a state-of-the-art studio um, and when I walked into the old studio I remember saying to the then head of productions oh yeah this is not bad but the, 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 the type of ideas I have will require a lot more than this. And in the early days when I was here, Lance and Mariah, I remember sitting in a number of meetings looking at what the new studio would look like. And I must admit, there came a point in the last six years that I've been here that I've wondered, <laughs> is this thing actually going to happen? Um, <laughs> but we are here and it is just magnificent and I love it, you love it and everybody loves it. Um, this is a magnificent space um, that we can do so much with and um, just absolutely thrilling and, and the, 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 the ideas that are already flowing. I know Mariah has 101. Yeah, well I w was going to say when you said that you've sat in those meetings and you felt like it would not come to life, y'all were just waiting for me because I joined in 2019, we're in 2023 and <laughs> things have progressed in, you know, we're ahead of time, our studio, I'm so proud of it, you know, I sit here and I feel like, you know, I am so blessed to be yeah. a part of history. We are very blessed to be able, because what we do is creative. We're creative minds, and people always say creative minds are very, very strange. But we can see things in our brain that other people can see. And when we put out what we do, it comes to life. And I think, you know, it's a blessing, Ricardo, that we sit here every day and we get to share our views, our opinions with our viewers, and they welcome it. So to do it from a space like this, a beautiful space, is a blessing and I can't wait for all the other projects that we have because now team we have no excuse <laughs> we have no excuse but to put out top class work yeah you know what the high point of the launch yesterday was the moment that we uh, beamed our CEO Nick Matthews into one of the chairs here on the on the set which was um, a magical moment there, there, there it is where he was outside on the outside with uh, a lot of the other dignitaries um, celebrating the launch of this new Sports Max studio. So we were, you, uh, Mariah, <laughs> uh, and I, Ricardo, inside here. We were getting ready to talk to Nick Matthews, our CEO, and he just appeared on the set with us, green screen style. And um, it was a high point of the launch yesterday for me, and the feedback I'm getting um, suggests that our viewers felt the same way. Well, I did say it was my high point because I started to get ideas. For those of you that missed the show yesterday, I already started planning how I can be on one location and on the set. So if you see me, maybe I'm not here. Not just one location, but Ocho Reyes <laughs> on the beach. Um, Thanks for telling sipping. me. Oh, sorry. Wasn't I supposed to say that? Uh, <laughs> one of the things I, I wanted to say as well, um, Lance and Mariah, as it relates to this new space. So when we were building up to unveiling the space yesterday, um, Lance gave us a performance just showing us some of his versatility and I was thinking one of these Fridays we should have a studio show and when I say studio show I mean a performance show so Mariah is going to model Lance will perform and we will have backup singers for Lance um, and, and maybe I can do an opening for him or something I like that dance. I don't mind you oh you want, want to model. dance Oh, you don't want to model, you want to dance. when you all sing. What kind of dancer are you? Because we need to plan this effectively so yeah. I can bring in the things that you would require. Her so props, her props. Yes. I need some backup dancers. I need some um, you shiny mean, you pom You mean Alison style? Um, we, can, we can switch right. it up. It's, it depends what, what, what on what you all sing. What kind of dance are you going to do? Um, well, you have to tune in for that because I don't know what both of you are singing. What can you sing? <laughs> You're not dancing to what uh, yes, we're singing. We're, yes. we're bringing yeah, they're, in, we're they're bringing separate, in the music. separate yes. performances. Okay, so when I was younger, I used to actually do Bollywood dancing. Okay. So I trained professionally and people would have, I would go on competitions. There was a competition called Mastana Bahar back in Trinidad where I would dress up in, of course, our Bollywood attire and I would like be doing dance moves and stuff. So I Did you ever win? No, I never won. Oh, yeah, oh, but I could still dance. We, we can make you a winner on this show. Um, and <laughs> really? he, here's the thing, Mariah. I have a selection of dancehall music that I think you would be very good at dancing. <laughs> no, a dancehall dancing on this? I'll be fired. Because <laughs> I could dance dancehall. But it's not appropriate. On that note, let's go to break because I need to speak to Ricardo about what he says on the show. Break time. <laughs>